Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program to print command line arguments. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. So first, I'll go to one location in my machine. Any location you can go guys. I'm just going to the download location, downloads location where I'm going to create a folder so that uh, it looks good or clean for me, okay? So without any distractions and all. Here in this folder, I'll just right click and just uh, create a new text document. I'll go inside this text document. I'll open this here. Just close all the stuff. Uh, here, there is a text document, right? A new text document. Here, I'll write the program, public class, Name of the class. I'll just increase the font here so that you can see properly. I'll just name this class as sample. You can give any name. And uh, so this code I'm writing to show you how to write a Java program to print command line arguments. Okay, here I'll be writing the code for printing the command line arguments in this program. Right? Just focus. Here I'll inside this class, I'll create a main method, public static void main string of Arcs. This is the general notation, right? So that we generally write in the Java programs, the main method. So here, the string of arcs is something that you have to focus more in this program, okay? So whatever the arguments that you pass from the command line will be received by this particular parameter of this main method, okay? String of arcs. Fine. So once you get the arguments passed to this uh, parameter of this main method, I have to print it out, but before printing out all these arguments, I'm getting from the command line to this parameter of this main method. I have to first find out whether the there are some arguments received by this parameter or not. Okay. For that to happen, I'll write the if condition saying if args dot length. Okay. In string array, we have a length uh, predefined variable, right? Using that length predefined variable, I'll find the size of this args. Okay. Are there any arguments received by this parameter? I can find out by saying args.length is greater than zero. If args.length is greater than zero, that means from command line, some arguments are being passed to this parameter for sure. Okay. So once we confirm that there are some arguments received by this parameter, since, since this is an array of string, right? So multiple arguments, string arguments can be received by this args parameter. So I'll find out, are there any arguments being received by comparing this with zero? If more than zero means definitely there are some arguments passed from the command line. Once that is true, we'll go inside the if block and inside the if block, I'll write the code something like this, okay? I'll write the code here. That is, for each and every argument that is received, okay? How to write that? For each loop, I'll use. Each and every argument is of string type here, okay? Multiple arguments will be there string array that's fine but each and every argument is string type so i'll write string here string arg argument colon i'll give this args here okay so the number of arguments received that many number of times this for each loop will iterate fine and now here system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln i'm going to print the arguments okay i'm going to print each and every argument that is being passed to this program okay so what happens here i'll save this i have to save this as a java file so for that i'll simply say file save as and i'll go to the same downloads location the new folder whatever i created in that i'll just name this as sample whatever the class name is that same name i'll provide and say extension as dot java and here save as type as all files and save it it will be saved as a java file now i'll close this now we have the Java file. This document is not required. You can delete. Okay. Now we have the sample.java file with that code that I have written just now. Now what I'll do next is here, I'll type CMD so that the command prompt will open at the same location where the sample.java file is available. You see in the downloads folder, in the new folder, we have the sample.java file. At this location, the command prompt has been directly opened with this process. Now here, first I need to, before running this Java code, I have to first compile it for that reasons. I have to use this command known as Java C space sample dot Java. Okay. Like this, we have to run the Java C means Java compiler and name of the file and extension of the file. Press enter. 
if it is compiled successfully, you will not get any error message directly with this, uh, you know, sample.class file has been created now. Okay. Now what next? I have to run this. Uh, okay. I have to run this code. For that reason, I have to say Java space sample. Okay. With the help of this dot class file. Okay. Uh, the Java program in this uh, file will be run. Now, when I run this, I have to pass the parameters case. Okay. After Java and name of this file, I have to give space and no, uh, no matter how many parameters you provide. Okay. For example, Monday, Tuesday, some days I am running, Wednesday. Okay. Thursday. These are all parameters, uh, arguments you can say. Okay. These arguments are going to be passed as uh, arguments to that uh, string of aux parameter in the Java program in the main method. So, and uh, we have re already written the code here to get one by one by one parameter, one by one argument uh, received by the parameter and print them right in the program that we already have seen. Here we are just while running the code, I'm passing the parameters. Okay. If you don't pass anything, nothing will be printed in the output. But if you pass after this Java and name of the class here, if you pass any number of uh, parameters, right? Uh, arguments, right? That many, that many arguments will be printed in the output. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. I'll give my name, Arun Motori. Okay. Green. So blue, white, yellow, red. Okay. Like that, anything you can pass, guys. Okay. Apple, mango, orange, a lot of parameters I am passing. Okay. When I, the moment I press enter here, all these arguments will be passed to the code. That is a main method. In the main method, we have string of args to that particular parameter. These arguments will be passed. And uh, with our logic that I have written in the Java program, one by one argument will be printed in the output. Press enter, you see, all the arguments have been printed here itself. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Arun, Motori, green, blue, white, yellow, red, apple, mango, orange. You see, no matter how many number of parameters arguments you pass, that many arguments will be printed with the help of the program or logic that we have written in this code. So I'll just copy this code that I have written that will receive the arguments to this particular parameter. And using this logic, all these arguments that are received by this parameter are printed one by one. Okay. So here I'll provide the code guys. Okay. I'll provide the code here that I have written. And uh, the commands also I'll write down how to pass the arguments and all commands. Uh, first one, we have to say Java C sample dot, uh, let's say Java. First, you have to compile. After that, you have to say Java, then sample the name of the class. And then you just give the parameters like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay. Arun, Motori, Green, Yellow, Red, Apple, Mango. Okay, like this, like this, you can pass, uh, run the command and uh, to this particular code. And you will see that all the arguments passed to this uh, arx parameter of this main method will be printed one by one with the help of this logic. So this is a Java program to print command line arguments. Guys. This is how we have to print the command line arguments. So with practical demonstration, I have answered this question for you. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye bye.